I'm very excited to uh, be talking to you. I'm a huge fan of yours. And Thank I, you. I think I talked to you uh, with James during uh, The Dark Knight last yeah, year. Yeah, but we were so much younger then. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, we were, you know, the economy still looked like it was <laughs> going to be okay. You yeah. Know. That was a different yeah, time well, for sure. Well, well, the world has changed. Yeah, that's for yeah. sure. That's for sure. Um, I'm more fascinated than anything in the process of how you create scores and, and compose them and put them together. All right. Um, Let me give you, <laughs> try to give you well, as yeah. honest an answer as I can. Um, so my, my, my starting question is just how early do you start working? Usually, usually way early. Usually I, you know, first with Chris Nolan, um, Dark Knight, I mean, during during his script writing process, <laughs> you know, um, oh. and Sherlock was, Sherlock was very different because um, I didn't even know they were making a Sherlock Holmes movie, <laughs> and I, I get a phone call from Guy Ritchie um, out of the blue, and he says, I'm doing the Sherlock Holmes movie, and um, every time I go to the cutting room, they've put another piece of Dark Knight music into it, <laughs> and I don't want Dark Knight. Right, right. And, I, and and that was a good way to start because if <laughs> he had said to me, "Oh, I really like your Dark Knight score, and can you do something like that?" Yeah. You know, it's um, you don't want to do that. You yeah. you just you know it's boring. Yeah, it's as simple as that. You know, plus you know I wrote it for Chris, yeah. um, and he said, "Come on over and have a look at the movie." And I and I went over to London. With great trepidation, I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan. Yeah. You know, I grew up with those <laughs> stories. I loved, you know, I, I loved the television s series that Patrick Gowers wrote amazing music for. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, and I had heard these rumors that Guy was doing like, you know, the action Sherlock right. Holmes, and I thought, oh god, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. Because for me, the whole thing about Sherlock Holmes is is, is the virtuosity in his brain. Right. I think, you know. Um, Conan Doyle managed to, to, to make thought as exciting as a car chase, <laughs> right? Right. Um, so I'm going over, see Guy, sit down, and within 20 seconds he had me because he had that <laughs> pre amazing previous scene where you, you know, the, the thing that got me was, you know, the, the, the way within 20 seconds um, Guy had me by doing the, you know, the previous, uh, the, the pre-visualization mm -hmm. of Holmes basically talking about what he's going to do next <laughs> and showing you the action. Yeah. And I thought, yeah. okay, he's figured out how to keep this guy intelligent or how to, to make this about intelligence and mm -hmm. at the same time make it really exciting and, and get the physicality into this whole thing. <laughs> um, and... You know, after that, it's it's really you know, like Guy and I, we didn't we never met, we didn't know each other. So you know, you just start chatting. You just mm -hmm. you know, you go, you know, what food do you like? You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. You have to get to know each other. Right. You know, and really, truly, that's part of my my process. Mm -hmm. And we were, we just talked about music that we like, you mm -hmm. know, and and somehow we got to Irish folk songs, and somehow we got to you know, after Irish folk songs, I got to gypsy music and he's going oh yeah yeah I like you yeah. know da, da, da. Mm. and 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 suddenly we were, we were we are talking about what's London what was London like in those days mm -hmm. I mean I know London like the back of my hand mm -hmm. you know I mean I've been down to Billingate's fish market at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> and you know it's huge and it's yeah. like you know and mm. and it's been like this for the last 200 years Actually, I'm slightly wrong because they moved the fish market from one place to the other. But <laughs> I think the vibe is about, about the same. Um, <coughs> um, and, you know, the idea that, you know, because you need to sneak up on the tone. You need to, you know, you, you, you can't just go, okay, Holmes, yes, yes, well, yeah. I know what to do. You know, yeah. but, uh, you know, there was a thing about the way Guy had shot it. There was a, there was a way Robert Downey Jr. was acting the, the yeah. thing, you know, and, and I mean... You know, and 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 I just remember, you know, growing up. You know, I spent 15 years living in England. Uh, I've never grown up, so I was going the wrong way with the sentence. But, um, <laughs> but the, uh, you know, that you know, you have a pub in a corner, and somebody plays the piano in it. You know, music hall. I don't right. know. You know, or, you know, somebody plays the banjo. And and the thing that 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 both guy and I were really into was the idea that we would use, you know, humble instruments. <laughs> that we wouldn't use a big orchestra and just sort right. of slap the big homogenous right. sound of it. So that, that we'd cast musicians, hmm. you know, for the virtuosity. Because the, the only way I could figure out of how to 
to the virtuosity that goes in and the quirkiness that goes on in Holmes' brain was, you know, to have, you right. know, great virtuosos right. doing their oh. thing. Um, and, of course, the, 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 the idea that Holmes plays the violin, I mean, that, that, that's something, <laughs> you know, it's, you, you see him pick up the violin, you know, I mean, that's what he does, that's yeah. part of his character. But, you know, I think in the past we always assumed that when Holmes plays... He plays beautiful classical music. He'll play a, you know, Bach partita or something like right, that. Right, right. You know, um, and I was much more thinking about, you know, when I said, you know, and, and, he, and he plays the violin when he's feeling a little insecure. I, I, I <laughs> firmly believe the character is a manic depressive, by yeah. the way, you know. Yeah. Um, and and I firm, I really, I believe Holmes is interested in different cultures. I yeah. think, I think. Holmes would be interested in how a gypsy violinist plays yeah. as opposed to, you know, <laughs> and I think Holmes is interested in the difference between a fiddle and a violin, and the only difference is attitude, mm. you know. Um, so it was very much about, you know, let, let's, try to, uh, let's try to make a music that is, that is as quirky as the character mm. and as opinionated and as mm. outspoken and, and as much fun. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, m one thing which was really important to me was to keep remind, to, to tell the audience right from the word go, it's going to be different. This is not the Holmes you hmm. you imagine it to be. And hmm. you know, the, the first notes you hear are you know out of tune piano and out of yeah. tune Hungarian timbalom and a banjo. Yeah. You know, and there, there's a, like a perverse <laughs> pleasure in going, okay, this is a really expensive movie. It's you know Warner's Christmas movie, and you know, yeah. and there's a banjo. <laughs> coming in yeah. and you know accordions and stuff like that but you know b beyond the perverse pleasure there, there's actually some thought that yeah. goes yeah. into it and then it's it's you know and then it's a matter of so, so I know what I want to say and I <laughs> sort of know what the instru uh, instrumentation is so it's actually the cart before the horse because the one thing hmm. I don't have yet is the tune and then it's yeah. you know, you know, and then it's a battle. Hmm. You know, there there are twelve notes. Everybody's got access to these twelve notes, and you know, not nothing makes sense. Yeah. You know, it's it's all just noise. Right. You know, it's right. n hmm. and and okay, and and you write it like a pretty tune, but it has nothing to do with it with 